The most exciting thing about Neocon 2022 is being back with lots of people. 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 Actual people. I think it's so important for the community to come together. We love collaborating. We love coming back together. I feel the excitement. I feel the energy. It's really great to see everybody back in person. Also, it's really great to see what everybody else is bringing to the table. I am excited about that. I'm excited to see what the future holds. This category loves solving problems. And oh my goodness, this year, you have to solve problems to bring people back into the office environment. We've all been working from home or working hybrid for the past couple years, and we've gotten really accustomed to that comfort we have at home. Not all people are coming back, so when they are, we need to make it feel as homey as possible, but still relatable and still useful to what they're doing in their workspace application. So we want to try and encourage people to feel comfortable and have their natural behavior as they would at home, but in the workplace. Everything's merging together which is a great thing. Building that continuity between is really important and that as designers, that's we're, we're doing our job if we can solve that problem. We've been used to solitude and quiet, so I've been seeing some of the showrooms here this year really focusing on noise control and sound absorption. Going back into the office, it can be a bit of a challenge to acclimate to higher levels of noise and a lack of privacy. So acoustical materials are going to be increasingly important in helping to create cozy nooks, places where people feel really comfortable. All of the showrooms that I've been in today, it's, you could be walking into someone's home or you could be walking into a business or a hotel or whatever. They're all much more overlapping. You don't see the divisions that we used to see in the past. It's great to be back. It's great to see color and design. I'm loving all the texture and pattern and materials that we're seeing. Light muted colors. I mean, even with the wood grain. Colors moving warmer. That was, you know, definitely in evidence here as I've been walking around today. We've seen a ton of terracotta and the rosy colors, but you really can't experience them unless you're here and you're seeing how other people interact with them and how other people have maybe arranged the colors in different ways that maybe you hadn't thought of. We are seeing color immersed everywhere. It's not just the range of neutrals that we've spent the last 10 years talking about. We are really shifting into a time and place where people are experiencing color in a different way. They're not afraid to bring it into their homes. They're not afraid to bring it into the office environment. I certainly feel at the moment we are seeing a trend for restorative color. It's symptomatic of the fact that we're all much more aware of nature. I'm seeing bright colors, upbeat yellow, orange, jewel tones, nature infused colors of blues and greens are still really important. Materials that you could find in nature, rich natural muted colors are really coming to the front now, not artificial. So the colors need to tell the same story. Biophilic design continues to be such an important trend right now. Making sure that the finishes we use can cross into a more residential type of appearance but still function for the corporate or office workspace. How are we making the office space healthy in multiple different ways and so biophilic design is again about introducing people to the natural world and natural materials. And Things that we're focusing on right now are using Sequal, which takes plastic from the ocean and recycles it into fibers that we can use in our textiles. Sustainability within the industry is absolutely paramount. I mean, obviously, all our materials are FSC accredited. We're here for life. We want our furniture to last a long time. We consider um, not the end of life of the piece of furniture, but we consider it to be an ongoing life. It's about the human side of um, living and working together.